In the city where I live, just like most cities in the world, there are three types of neighborhoods the extremely poor neighborhoods, average neighborhoods, and rich neighborhoods. While many people who live in the average neighborhood tend to be normal people who work some jobs and try to put their heads together, most people who live in the rich neighborhood are middle class individuals who think they are rich. These guys think they are rich not because they are rich. They think they are rich because they make more money than most people. The problem with thinking you're rich while you're simply an average guy is that you get to dip your fingers into things that are for the truly rich people. And as a result of that, your life will be more miserable than even that of the poor. So, we decided to make this video to show some of the signs that show that someone is in the middle class struggling to pretend to be rich. While being in the middle class is by no way a bad thing, Trying hard to look rich while you're not is an invitation to disaster. So, let's see a few signs that show you you're probably just a middle class person trying to look as though you're rich. You exaggerate the value of your income. What I've seen again and again is that most people I know tend to exaggerate the value of a certain amount. And this is even worse for the middle class. I've seen people living so big because they think too highly of their income. Often. I would be in shock when I know how much people earn and compare that to their lifestyle. To me, as an entrepreneur, if you give me what these people earn, I would be too scared to buy a belt out of it because I know it's a small amount that needs to be invested. But for these people, buying designer shoes out of such amounts are just normal. So many people who ought to be living in a poor neighborhood in my city are living on the island. Not because they can afford living there, but because they exaggerate how valuable their income is. You earn more than most people, but have no investment. Most people in the middle class think they are rich, and the reason why they think so is that, well, they earn more than most people. And that seems to make sense, isn't it? If you earn more money than most people, aren't you rich? Well, not necessarily. Being rich isn't a factor of what you earn. It's always a factor of what you keep. And how much of what you keep is working hard for you? You can't just feel rich when you don't have any reasonable amount of money working hard for you when you're sleeping. No, you're not rich. You think you deserve a good life. I have heard so many people saying, I deserve a good life because I worked hard for it. Well, you deserve oxygen. And that is it. Nothing more. Oxygen is the only thing you deserve. And you already have that. After oxygen, then you deserve a great future where you won't have to ever worry about money. You don't deserve the Rolex watch. You don't. You don't deserve the nice car you can't afford. You don't. You don't deserve to live in a home that's bigger than your income. You don't. Smile with the oxygen God has given you because that's the only thing you deserve. You also deserve healthy food because you want to be healthy. You don't deserve what you can't afford. No. You buy luxuries from income. Most times people envy the rich because of their luxuries. What these people don't know is that the rich don't pay for luxuries. They have it for free. And I mean it free. So here is how it goes. Sometime last year I fell in love with a particular car and I had the money to go get it if I wanted it. But I told myself, why should I pay for this car if I can get it for free? How can I get it for free? I decided to invest the money I ought to use for this car and wait for my seed to germinate. That was about six months ago. And in the next six months, my investment should have yielded a 100% return or more. Then I can go and get the car I want for free. This is what the truly rich does, but the middle class is too impatient to wait for their seed to germinate. They eat the seeds and that's why they never have enough money. Your car is more than your six-month income. Let's talk about cars again because it's big stuff in our society. Because it's a symbol of wealth. The problem with symbols of wealth is that if you have them before you're truly wealthy, then they will make you poor. Just yesterday, I was telling a friend that I can't buy any car if I can't earn the money for it in a single month. Yes, my car can't ever be expensive more than my one month's income. And this is because the car is not an investment. For heaven's sake, yes, this can't be a rule for everyone as not everyone earns enough money to buy a car with their one month's earning. And these people need a car because they live in countries where public transport isn't that popular. But you know what middle class people do? 
they buy cars they would have to pay for in four years and claim it's because they need a car. Yes, you might need a car, but you don't need a Mercedes. You might need a car, but you don't need a new car. You have too many things than you ever need. Middle class individuals usually buy with impulse. Yes, we all have the impulse and temptation to buy stuff, but if you're poor, you probably won't have the means, and if you're rich, you probably understand the need to delay gratification. But the guys at the middle don't know any of that. They have the means to buy, and they have to buy, even if they will only wear that cloth once and dump it where 50 others have gone. I seriously think that everyone should be minimalists, at least till you truly become rich. Being a utilitarian means that you only buy things because you need them, not because they are beautiful or because everyone buys them. You run after celebrities. Even though most people in the middle class appear to be rich, deep within, they know that they are not rich. So they envy those who are truly rich and want to meet, see or have pictures with them. Music shows, comedy shows and every other show out there are filled with the middle class for a few reasons. It makes them feel good seeing that they could afford such shows, taking pictures for Instagram and probably have the opportunity to meet the guy who truly has the money. Of course, a truly rich person would run after a celebrity because he knows that the guy is just another dude with blood running under his veins. Nothing special. Above are a few signs that you're in the middle class and I think they can be helpful even for those who are starting to build their wealth and career from scratch. At least, this list shows you what not to do and how not to live if you start making some money. There are a few more signs that indicate the behaviors of the people who are in the middle class but we might have to discuss those in another video. So this video, if this video makes any sense to you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love you.